Joel brought me a IBC Black Cherry Soda. Cheers. Joel, why are you making the I'm think sorry, a lot, bro? I'm hungry. See, you know, I specifically said no cooking in the yurt. What are we doing? We're cooking in the yurt. Like this, right? Now we're gonna toast these bad boys. Ooh. Right in the freaking grease. It's good stuff. Mm. Show it. Mmm. So good. So it says, number three is cooking in yurt is prohibited. No gas stoves, candles, or other open flames. Cooking must be done outside. No smoking in yurts. But okay. this was electric, so we should be good. Got three bunk beds in here. This one's kind of like a dual one, so you could probably sleep like, I don't know how many people in here, a grip of people. At least like probably seven to ten. Just our heat source tonight. Looks like we got some fire starter there. We got a little bit of wood there. The rest of the woods in here, they got it already inside this thing. So we got all this wood. He said we can burn through it all if we need to. Firewood for the yurt stoves only. And then we got three bundles of firewood here that we just bought. We're going to uh, use it in there. The DNR guy came by earlier and was asking us if we needed anything, kind of explaining everything. And he said uh, that the coyotes come screaming out here at night. Okay, guys, I got a security camera that we're gonna set up, it's night vision, so I can get on my phone and actually monitor this or have it record all night. Oh, that's sweet, dude. Got a little rocking chair here, that's cool. Guys, this is the largest power station I've ever had. 5,120 watt hours with the 2200 watt inverter. I've had expandable ones where you plug them in with extras, but this is the largest like single unit I've ever had. We got Hereford ground chuck. Oh yeah, this stuff is good. It's getting colder outside, it's down to 19. Like tater tots, they're more of like a potato or lay. You want mushroom? And then we got cream of celery. Organic corn. Some peas. I'm gonna drain these outside. Joel's thing's doing a good job. It's noticing us and it notifies his phone when it picks picks up movement. So that'll be a pretty good uh, tool for his camping. Sure, I might have to get one for the channel. Something. Ooh, it smells delish. Yeah. See the difference? Yeah, majorly. <laughs> Bag of cheese on the top. They'll melt down into it. We good? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at the food, guys. It's already melting. Ooh, let's mix that boy up. 19 ounce, 66 in here now. Yes. Yeah, maybe another hour it'll be done. Ooh. See all the steam coming out? Yeah, I think this stuff's done, dude. I got cornbread with that, too. Ooh, yeah, cornbread. Yeah. Some cornbread. Cornbread. Thanks, bro. Hey, buddy. Delish. Only the best for Tober's camping. That's right. Bro. Oh. You know? One more time, bro. <laughs> you, just, you just rip it off there. We're having a little family dinner, me and Joel Candy. Now we need some wives to have dinner with. Yep. To make us some cornbread. We gotta meet Miss Candy. Yeah. She's out there. Miss Candy, if you're out there, I'm right here, baby. I'll make you some tater tot hot dish. Got this little yurt journal here. Tips and tricks. Open the dome to get fresh air. Make s'mores on hot days outside or hot dogs outside. 
There isn't any electricity, so go on a hike or swimming. There's Joel Candy right there. I drew that. There's the year. Joel got a new sleeping bag. 800 FP goose down. It was 200 bucks, and it's good to zero. Hike and bike. Got good ratings on Amazon. That's why I got it. For a zero degree sleeping bag, it's pretty Dude, small it's super, and light. It's a backpacking sleeping bag. Goose down is some of the best stuff that you can have for like material. So it's supposed to be pretty warm. You just gotta let like the oxygen get to it. Yeah, dude, it's so small. But yeah, it's really thin. Yeah, it's very thin. So I got my fire in the sky. Glad you got your safety glove on, bro. It's hot in this yurt. All right, guys, we're about to go for a hike here. Got some flashlights. Got my bear mace. Jewel is prepared also. Let's do it. Here we go. Keep yeah, it on low. Yeah. Let's roll into the dark abyss. Bye bye, yurt. There's another yurt right here. You guys can see nobody's there. No one's in none of this, dude. I know, I don't think there's gonna be anybody here tonight. No, we got wood right here, too. Nice. It's nice we got a bathroom here. I did bring my bathroom just in case. We're gonna try to go to the St. Croix River here. I would assume it's frozen, but I don't know. It might not be frozen. Guys, look at this. How much animals are right here? This is crazy. No human trails is all animals. There's something right there. I don't know if it's a deer. Let me see. Right there? Straight ahead. Grab oh, my flashlight. Yeah. You see it? Yeah, it's a deer. Yeah, right there. Look at it. Deer scat or rabbit. Oh, gosh. It... Oh, what is that? I don't know. Some piss or poop or something. Oh, the fresh deer pee right there. Yeah, they've been pissing and stuff. Yeah, there's a ton of deer over here. Big mama rocks. Probably some animal's home, dude. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it gets you out of the elephants. This little, like, warming shelter out here. Look at this hill, guys. It's still going down. We've been walking for a little bit down. Don't want to slip. Yeah. This is a crazy area though. Look at this. Yeah, this is sweet. Look at the rocks. Yeah, this is cool. Oh my gosh. It's huge, dude. The river's huge. House is on the other side of the river over there. If you guys can see, let me turn my light off. Stairs, should we go down it? Uh, you want to see the water? Yeah, let's do it. Here, it's just sand. It's sand, yeah. Be careful though, bro. Yeah, this is all sand right here. It's so low right here. Yeah, this is sand out this way. Oh. Dude, all of a sudden it goes to your waist. Oh my God. Ooh, oh. just said, bloop. You should have threw it really high. Oh, oh yeah, it's not deep, but it's not that deep. Wooden bridge. Wooden bridge. Oh. Yeah, that's a little, little distance down there. I should drop your flashlight. Oh, they're sleeping. They're sleeping. Yeah. Are those babies? I'm sorry, dear. Yeah, there's two babies. Watch that deer. Watch him. He's limping. He looks like he's limping, dude. We are in South Africa now. Over here, dude. I'm just kidding. We're at K. It's huge. Yeah, dude. It's heavy, boy. Try to pick one corner up. It has to hold the wires all the way over the river. That's why it's so big. Deer. A bunch of deer. Where? Right here. Same deer? More deer. Yeah. They're laying down, dude. Right There's so many deer out here. So that's called the, the Afton Alps. Afton Alps, yeah. You guys see it? Visitor center right here. Poor 
buck deer are just trying to sleep. Look at, look at the buck, dude. Yeah, look at the buck. It's a little one. Is that that one? Fire's basically out. We got back here. dryer lint and then I got some kindling. This thing's sweet, huh? Yeah. Pick me up with the bench. Hopefully I think it's down to like 10 Fahrenheit out here now. It's getting pretty chilly. Joel's been having his little coyote thing blasting and we're hearing like coyotes out in the distance and just heard some big breaking branches coming up this hill. There's a hill right behind this yurt. The animals out here do not seem scared at all. There must be people around often or maybe there's not hunting around this area because we came up to so many deers that were just bedded down. Oh, I see you right there, boy. See me now? Then let's go cook it. Look at the chocolate melt. Well, I got my bed ready here. Just got my zero degree sleeping bag and my pillow. We got the fire going. Jules just brought in some more wood. Ooh, she's blazing. Jules setting up his bed now. I'm gonna wear my down booties inside there. When I wake up, I can just get out of here without shoes. Dude, they're so comfortable. Oh, they're so nice, dude. They're like warm. Oh. It matches your sleeping bag. This is uh, Brazilian coffee, uh, specialty ground up from Tim Setterberg. Shout out to Tim Setterberg for giving me this coffee. It's really wonderful. What was that? That's oh, trapped in here, dude. Oh, yeah, it's gonna come right back uh, up to you. Uh, Minnesota, that's right. <laughs> Minnesota, baby. This AeroPress is a little dangerous. Yeah, because if it's squirted up, dude. Oh, AeroPress coffee. From Tim Setterberg. Ooh, that's hot. Just sip it. It's hot, really hot. Real hot? It might be too watery. Too it filters. should be stronger. We're gonna try it again. Bro. Much better. Yeah. Yeah, now it tastes like coffee. Yeah. Well, guys, we're almost all packed up, as you can see. So let me show you this massive power station that we use to power everything in this video. This is the Ocotel P5000. This thing has 5,120 watt hours with a 2,200 watt of murder. So basically, you can run anything that you run at home with this thing. So under the DC section, you have one car charger right there, which we're using for our lights. You got a 24 volt, 10 amp, 
aviation style plug you can use for your 24 volt system of your RV or whatever. You got two 12 volt three amp barrel style plugs. You got two USB A's. You got two quick charge USB A's, which are 18 watt. You got two 100 watt USB C's. And under the AC side, you got four 20 amp, 120 volt AC plugs. And then you got a 30 amp RV plug. So if you got an RV, this thing is uh, very nice. It's got two massive handles on it because this thing does weigh 114 pounds, but it does have lithium iron phosphate batteries. So it's like 5,000 cycles down to 80%. And then it's obviously a lot safer because of the technology in it. You can see it's got a colored screen. It shows your discharge time. It shows your percentage and then it shows the graph. It shows your input watts, your output watts, and 120 volts right there. And then it has this little cubby on the top you can pop open, which is nice because then you have all your cords in here. It's got an XT60 to your car charger, and it's got your AC plug, so you don't have any power brick or anything like that, which is really nice. And then you have an XT60 to your MC4 when you want to connect your solar panels. You can just close it up. It does have wheels on it, which I will demonstrate. And then the other side is the input flap. You can open that up. You got your overload protection. You got your AC plug-in part where you charge it, and then you got uh, quick charge and slow charge. Slow charge is like 600 watts, quick charge is like 1500 to 1800 watts. So you can charge this thing up pretty fast. And it's got your XT60 connection for your solar panels and your car charging right there. And this thing can do a thousand watts of solar. And on the back, it basically just shows all the specs of the machine here. Then the other side, it just shows the 520 watt hours and it has fans like it does on this side. It comes with a one year warranty, but I think you can expand it up to like three years. So turn these off, you just press them once, and they'll all shut off. Turn the power station off, you just hold this for a few seconds, and then it's off. All right, like I said, this is 114 pounds, but it does have big handles on here. Keep it close to your body, bring it down, and it has an expandable handle here. Just press the button, hold it, and it comes out. Actually rolls really nice, as long as you have flat ground like this. And then it does have these bumpers right here, so you can fold it up on its side like this. This is Ocatel's 400 watt solar panel. This is the PV400. So open this bad boy up, see if we can get some solar going. It does have four legs on it. does have a water resistant pouch on it you just got to unzip this so you can get to your mc4 cords here's your mc4 and it does come with the xt60 cord too so you can plug right into the power station and just plug it right into the xt60 spot right here we'll see how much sun we can get we are getting 71 watts, so it says 36 hours. But you can get up to 1,000 watts of solar. This is a 400 watt solar panel. So you've had another 600 watts of solar and it was actually a sunny, beautiful day. You could potentially fully charge this in about six hours. This is the Ocatel P400. You can see it's basically got four 100 watt solar panels all combined here in series. This has an ETFE coating on it. So it basically won't yellow and it'll last longer. And this has like 23% efficiency, basically the highest percent efficiency you can generally get on a solar panel. It's got four kickstands to hold it up good in the wind and you see it does have grommets on it so that you can hang this up on the wall or on your van or whatever you want to do with that it's starting to rise guys it was over 200 for a second there you can see the hours are going down how fast it'll fully charge the only negative i saw with this thing is the fans can get kind of loud but i guess that's what you get for getting a massive power station is you have big fans to keep it cool so if you guys want to check this thing out i'll have a link in the description well guys, for my first experience with a yurt, I thought that was really fun. We stayed pretty warm last night. We kept the fire going. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed something different like that. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.